The fourth planet from the Sun, Mars, is one of our solar system's most enigmatic celestial bodies. We've known about its existence for thousands of years, but it took until the space age for humans to figure out just how strange the red planet is. And it's the only planet where we've sent rovers to roam the alien landscape. You won't believe what they have discovered. From icy lakes and active volcanoes to weird lights and human face-shaped oddities. Just wait till you see 20 strangest things spotted on Mars. <laughs> Photo montage on Mars mountain. Like Earth, Mars has many mountains. In fact, Mars has the tallest mountain in the solar system, 13 miles high, two and a half times taller than Mount Everest. But it lacks the long ranges of mountains such as the Himalayas, the Rocky Mountains, or the Alps found on every continent on Earth. Earth has plate tectonics and Mars doesn't. Tectonics is the study of Earth movements, large and small. It involves the uplift, folding, and destruction of mountain ranges. It includes landslides, earthquakes, rift zones, faults, ocean trenches on Earth, and geological forces that come from deep inside a planet. When missions to Mars send back images, Mars's mountains make up much of their view. However, the mountains have more than a decorative role especially as many are volcanoes. Mars has a volcanic province with many craters, quakes, and features that are similar to the Earth. Many of Mars's mountains and volcanoes are concentrated in Tharsis, the volcanic province that is around 3,000 miles across. Other than impressive mountains, Mars also has a system of canyons over 2,500 miles long, up to 120 miles wide, and sometimes over 4 miles deep. Scientists' terrifying new discovery on Mars changes everything. It appears to be strange markings on their rock face with what appears to be a depiction of a herd of animals. Could these cave drawings be the work of Martians? In archaeology, cave paintings are a type of parietal art found on the wall or ceilings of caves. The term usually implies prehistoric origin, and the oldest known are more than 40,000 years old. So, although we haven't found signs of alien life on the red planet, these markings imply that maybe a long time ago, ancient aliens may have called Mars home, or left some rock art as they passed through. And this is the kind of discovery that gets alien conspiracy theorists buzzing. And for good reason, it's exciting to think about Mars as an inhabited place in the past. It's almost as exciting as the idea that humans could eventually live there too in the not too distant future. So let us know what these markings say to you and leave your comments with the hashtag open discussion. Olympus Mons Olympus Mons is the largest volcano in the solar system. The massive Martian mountain towers high above the surrounding plains of the red planet and may be bidding its time until the next eruption. Found near the Martian equator, Olympus Mons is one of a dozen large volcanoes, many of which are 10 to 100 times taller than their terrestrial counterparts. The tallest of them all towers 16 miles above the surrounding plains and stretches across 374 miles. In comparison, Hawaii's Mauna Loa, the tallest volcano on Earth, rises 6.3 miles above the seafloor, but its peak is only 2.6 miles above sea level. The volume contained by Olympus Mons is about a hundred times that of Mauna Loa. Olympus Mons rises three times higher than Earth's highest mountain, Mount Everest, whose peak is 5.5 miles above sea level. It's a shield volcano. Rather than violently spewing molten material, shield volcanoes are created by lava slowly flowing down their sides. As a result, the mountain has a low squat appearance. Olympus Mons is still a relatively young volcano, although it has taken billions of years to form. Some regions of the mountain may be only a few million years old, relatively young in the lifetime of the solar system. As such, Olympus Mons may still be an active volcano with the potential to erupt. Alien Doorway Scientists have wondered if there is life on Mars, but thus far no proof or past of present life has been confirmed during exploration of the red planet but a new image taken by a camera on board NASA's Mars rover Curiosity reveals a presumably naturally occurring rock formation that suggests that there is at least one doorway on Mars. NASA's Curiosity Mars rover used its camera to capture this mound of rock, nicknamed East Cliffs. 
on the 3,466th Martian day of the mission. The mound on Mount Sharp has a number of naturally occurring open fractures, including one roughly 12 inches tall and 16 inches wide, similar in size to a dog door. The doorway doppelganger is so eerily convincing, we're almost tempted to start believing that it leads to a little hideaway for Martians. Or perhaps a portal to another universe entirely. At the very least, the picture and the geological feature it's captured would seem to be enough to inspire a science fiction movie or two. Is it a doorway to another dimension? Probably not. The key to understanding the lost Martian society? Again, likely no. The geologic feature is probably a sheer fracture due to strain on the rock. These kinds of open fractures are common in bedrock, both on Earth and on Mars. Lake on Mars There's no skating on Mars, not yet anyway, but stunning new images of the Martian surface show an ice-filled crater that looks a bit like a giant rink. It's called the Korolev Crater, a dish-shaped basin on the broad plain that surrounds the Martian North Pole. The impact crater is almost 51 miles wide and more than a mile deep. It holds roughly 530 cubic miles of perpetually frozen water ice, which is almost five times the volume of Lake Erie. Mars has seasons just as Earth does. This particular crater is very close to the polar ice cap, and the inside of the crater is at a lower elevation and more shadowed, so it creates a cold trap where the ice is stable. The poles on Mars are known to contain large quantities of water ice. There is also ample water ice beneath the surface of Mars, if the Martian landscape is notoriously dusty and barren. The pockmarked planet holds quite a bit of water. Just about all of it is frozen, although instruments aboard Mars Express revealed the existence of a large underground reservoir of liquid water near the planet's south pole. There used to be liquid water in rivers and lakes on Mars, but it largely either froze as the atmosphere dissipated or was lost to space about 3 billion years ago. Animal Statue These images were taken by the Mars Curiosity rover, and as you can see, one of the anomalies in the picture looks like a broken carved animal statue. The anomaly has all the characteristics to define that it's not just a simple rock. Another anomaly resembles a fossilized skeleton in addition to ancient sculptures and stones with deep lines carved with angles against nature that seems to be impossible due to erosion. So why do people see these things in photographs of rocks? The phenomenon of seeing familiar patterns in objects where none exist is called pareidolia. For example, Though recognizable shapes can appear in clouds, the appearance of a face where there is none is perhaps the most common variant of pareidolia. Historically, it was once thought of as a symptom of psychosis, but is now recognized as a normal human tendency. So, is our mind playing tricks on us? Most likely. Unfortunately, if you put a red circle around pretty much any rock on any image of Mars, conspiracy theorists will claim that NASA is involved in a cover-up. After years of research and study, they are convinced now, more than ever, that there is much more to Mars than NASA admits to. Dust Devil Perseverance was the first rover to reach the surface of Mars without a working microphone attached, and the instrument had been put to good use since their rover landed in February 2021. The mic is part of a suite of recording tools on the rover, known as the SuperCam. The Martian soundscape can be as hauntingly alien as one might hope to hear on another world. The boom of occasional meteorite impacts, the groan of the quaking ground, the whisper of an endless wind. Now we get a front row seat at the approach and retreat of a roaring devil as it scours the surface, helping drive the cycle of dust through the atmosphere and around the small rust-stained world. It's thanks to this innovative piece of technology that we can hear for the first time what a miniature whirlwind of dust sounds like on another planet. It's eerie and brief and quite fantastic at the same time. We live in a time when our spacecraft orbiting Mars can snap photos of a dust devil and transmit them back to us. The dust devil images are from a region of Mars known for spawning dust devils. Most of the dust devils on Mars are not that big. But this recording is of an absolute monster, a dust plume 8 miles high, flower-like object. The Curiosity rover took a picture of a rather strange-looking flower-like object on the red planet recently. 
The object that looked like a delicate organic structure could be igniting hopes of life on the planet. After all, we've already seen water to be present on Mars. However, the team behind the rover has sadly confirmed that it isn't really a flower. Water was responsible for its formation. The shape is actually a mineral formation that's formed by minerals precipitating from water, also referred to as diagenetic crystal clusters. Essentially, recombination of minerals. It consists of three-dimensional crystal clusters. It is actually made up of salts called sulfates. The structure is smaller than a penny, also referred to as concretion. Structures like these are usually embedded within a rock that probably eroded away over time. The clusters, however, are known to be erosion resistant. The image was captured using Curiosity's Mars hand lens imager, which managed to take such detailed macro shots. This surprisingly isn't the first flower-like object spotted on the red planet. Curiosity has actually seen these types of features before. These features consist of three-dimensional crystal clusters, likely made of a combination of minerals. A tangle of debris. A tangle of something strange was spotted by the Perseverance rover on Mars. It looked a bit like spaghetti or some sort of string. The mysterious object appeared in a rover camera image on July 12th, but a later image from July 16th showed it had disappeared from its spot on the sandy ground. Perseverance had a dramatic arrival in the Yezero crater in February 2021. The EDL system for entry, descent, and landing set it down carefully on the surface, and then scampered off to crash in a safe place where it wouldn't damage the rover. EDL, as expected, had a hard landing, scattering debris across a wide area. Some of those debris pieces have been photobombing the rover's images. With NASA saying that operations team has logged about a half dozen bits of suspected debris in an area called Hogwalla Flats. This is in a fascinating river delta region where the rover is collecting rock samples. As for the string-like object, NASA said it's likely a piece of shredded Dacron netting. The material, a type of polyester fiber, is used in thermal blankets that help to regulate equipment temperatures during the hot and spicy process of landing on Mars. Gale Crater Gale is a crater and a probable dry lake on Mars. It is 6 miles in diameter and is estimated to be about 3.5 to 3.8 billion years old. In 2012, NASA's Curiosity rover went to Mars to explore Gale Crater, a large impact basin with a massive layered mountain in the middle. How did this strange landscape come to be, and what can its history teach us about the potential for life on Mars? After several years of exploration, here's what we think could have happened. Around 3.7 billion years ago, a large meteor impact blasted out the initial crater cracking the rock below and leaving a central peak as the surface rebounded. It's a wetter time in Mars's history. Groundwater seeped into the new crater, while rivers fed by rain or melting snow also flowed in, forming a large lake, and carrying in gravel, sand, and silt. About 3 billion years ago, we were left with the basic form we see today. It is in this version of the Gale Crater that Curiosity has helped piece together the story. Drill samples from the lake bed show key elements, organic molecules, nutrients, and energy sources that microbes could have used. Water flowing through underground fractures could have supported life, and the composition of some layers makes them good for preserving potential signs of past life. Soaring over Mars The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has been seen many places on the planet. One of the most interesting is one of the Great Canyon systems on Mars. This is a branch of canyon systems called Kandor Chasma. The scale of these things is such that we're looking across a couple of miles of territory. Some of these buttes extend up a football field in size. Fault systems that were produced by earthquakes, in this case, Mars quakes, give us clues as to whether this is material that was eroded away, or actually whether it was deposited and then eroded later. The stress patterns show us the canyon formed first, was filled with material, and eroded away, leaving these buttes, with the buttes being formed by more resistant rock. NASA's Mars helicopter, Ingenuity, keeps giving us great bird's eye views of otherworldly terrain. 
The four-pound chopper aced its 12th flight on the Red Planet, designed to scout out the region for NASA's Perseverance rover. Ingenuity cruised at an altitude of 33 feet and covered a total of 1,476 feet of horizontal distance on the jaunt. According to the flight log maintained by the helicopter team, Ingenuity is a technology demonstrator designed to show that aerial exploration is possible on Mars. Weird Light New photos snapped by NASA's Curiosity rover have set the internet abuzz yet again about the possibility of life on Mars. Bright flashes of light appear in two images. The one-ton Curiosity rover captured recently, spurring some UFO buffs to speculate that the red planet may host intelligent life that produces and manipulates light as humans do here on Earth. The Curiosity rover landed on the surface in 2012 and is armed with 17 cameras. Since then, it has roamed all over the planet, beaming back huge amounts of data along with vast quantities of photographs. Many other pictures it has captured have featured anomalous lights too. It's likely cosmic rays, say the experts. NASA describes galactic cosmic rays as particles accelerated to near the speed of light that shoot into our solar system from other stars in the Milky Way, or even other galaxies. Even in 1969, Apollo astronauts reported seeing faint spots of flashes of light when the cabin was dark, a phenomenon NASA attributed to cosmic rays. The light probably came from a shiny rock, they say, or else resulted from super energetic cosmic rays slamming into the device on Curiosity's right side navigation camera, which took both photos. Cannonball it seems too round to be true. The Curiosity rover found a ball-shaped object among the craggy rocks in this picture. No, it's not the leftover of a Martian baseball game. And nor is it aliens. In fact, it's a kind of rock that shows evidence of water in the ancient past. According to experts, the ball isn't as big as it looks. It's approximately less than an inch wide. The explanation is that it most likely is something known as concretion. Other examples of concretion have been found on the Martian surface before. Take for example the tiny concretions or blueberries observed by Mars rover Opportunity in 2004. And they were created during sedimentary rock formation when Mars was abundant in liquid water many millions of years ago. A popular blog for UFO enthusiasts posted a close-up look at this spherical object spotted by NASA's Curiosity rover and suggested it was a cannonball left over from a war on the Red Planet. NASA's rover team responded with a Twitter message pointing out how the concretion is less than a quarter inch in size and is actually made up of calcium sulfate, sodium, and magnesium. Sorry to disappoint you, alien enthusiasts, there's never been a war on the Red Planet. Mars Pyramid Did an advanced civilization once exist on Mars? Or is the brain seeing patterns where there are none? Are there pyramids on Mars? Or is it just one pyramid-shaped rock? NASA's Mars Curiosity rover took a snapshot of an atypical stone on the red planet. A raw image from the mission shows a rock that appears to be a pyramid shape, leading some to speculate that it may be the result of intelligent sculptors. NASA, for its part, says it's just an ordinary rock. A member of NASA's Mars rover explanation team told the press that the object was unlikely to be a man or alien made, adding that the rock formations which look like recognizable objects are very common. But that hasn't stopped people from speculating about its origin or design. Some people believe it's either the capstone of a much larger pyramid, possibly buried deep beneath the surface, or perhaps a marker stone. Or is it just a rock, as NASA suggests? Perhaps interpretations of the object as a man-made structure are driven by our own expectations. A well-known psychological phenomenon known as pareidolia can cause people to interpret random images as significant or meaningful. We may see a pyramid on Mars, but there isn't one. Dusty Dozen NASA's Perseverance Mars rover is on a roll, having now collected and cached 12 samples of rocks and soil during its ongoing explorations of the red planet's Yezero crater. Perseverance described its collection of samples as the Dusty Dozen, but there's great hope that the material is a lot more than just plain old Martian grime, as it may help scientists to definitively prove if any form of life ever existed on the distant planet. And if it did, it could help us learn more about how life developed here on Earth. 
Perseverance's groundbreaking mission began in spectacular fashion when it parachuted to the surface of Mars at the end of the six-month journey from Earth. The incredible spectacle was captured in high-quality video by multiple cameras, giving us our clearest look yet at a rover landing on another planet. Perseverance also took with it Ingenuity, a small drone-like flying machine that made history when it became the first aircraft to achieve powered controlled flight on another celestial body. Since then, the 4-pound 19-inch high helicopter has made 28 additional flights of varying complexity, with NASA engineers now keen to develop more advanced versions to find even more samples from space. Yezero Crater NASA chose Yezero Crater as the landing site for the Perseverance rover. Scientists believe the area was once flooded with water and was home to an ancient river delta. The process of landing site selection involved a combination of mission team members and scientists from around the world, who carefully examined more than 60 candidate locations on the Red Planet. After the exhaustive five-year study of potential sites, each with its own unique characteristics and appeal, Yezero rose to the top. Yezero Crater is 28 miles wide and is located on the western edge of a flat plain just north of the Martian equator. The Perseverance rover landed in Yezero Crater with three scientific objectives. To explore the geologic setting of the crater, to identify ancient habitable environments, and assess the possibility of past Martian life, and to collect samples for potential transport to Earth for analysis and laboratories. In the 290 Martian days after landing, Perseverance explored rocks of the Yezero crater floor. Previously proposed origins for these rocks have ranged from lake or river sediments to lava flows. Olivine rich rocks identified on the crater floor, as well as in the area surrounding Yezero, have previously been attributed to a widely distributed impact melt or volcanic activity. NASA used Perseverance to investigate the origin of Yezero's crater floor rocks. Cydonia, Mars the surface of Mars has been the subject of fascination for centuries. Even today, crystal clear images sent directly from the surface by rovers, people see familiar patterns and random features. Nowhere has this tendency of seeing what we want to see on the surface of Mars been made more clear than the Cydonia region. Located in the Northern Hemisphere, the region of Mars is known for its many interesting landforms. The most famous of these is the face of Mars which has attracted immense scientific and popular curiosity over the past few decades. Cydonia was first photographed by the Viking 1 and 2 orbiters. Between the two, 18 images were taken of the region, all of which were limited resolution. Of these, only 5 were considered suitable for studying surface features. Because of their limited quality, a particular mesa resembled a humanoid face. An enormous head nearly two miles from end to end seemed to be staring back at the cameras. A few days later, NASA unveiled the image for all to see. The caption noted a huge rock formation, which resembles a human head, formed by shadows giving the illusion of eyes, nose, and mouth. And since its discovery, the face on Mars has since become a pop icon, weird metal rock. The dark, smooth surface object at the center of this image from the mast camera on NASA's Curiosity Mars rover was examined with laser pulses and confirmed to be an iron-nickel meteorite. The grid of shiny points visible on the object resulted from the laser zapping by Curiosity's chemistry and camera instrument. The meteorite is about the size of a golf ball. It is informally named Egg Rock for a site in Maine. Locations around Bar Harbor, Maine are the naming theme for an area on Mars, Mount Sharp, that Curiosity reached recently. Iron-nickel meteorites are a common class of space rocks found on Earth, and previous examples have been found on Mars. But Egg Rock is the first on Mars to be examined with a laser-firing spectrometer. The scene is presented with a color adjustment that approximates white balancing to resemble how the rocks and sand would appear under daytime lighting conditions on Earth. It really does stick out compared to the surrounding rocks, and the weird metal rock has a fascinating discovery on the barren planet. Although alien enthusiasts are quick to point out that aliens were responsible for the unusual metal. Female Figure the idea that there may be life on Mars has been around for centuries, but the theory got a dubious boost from recently released photos of the surface of Mars, taken by the NASA robot Spirit, apparently showing a human-like figure. 
Several internet sites have zeroed in on this image and suggested the figure in it could be alive. Mars, depending on when you measure it, is about 35 million miles away. The best telescopes aren't of much help in determining surface features, and that's why NASA sent robots with cameras to Mars. The spirit image does not look like Martian life, but instead resembles life here on Earth. Specifically, human life. The image is the result of human interpretation. If you look around the full image of the area, not just the close-up, you will find several rocks and features that resemble non-human Earth life. Ever since it went viral, the photo here has slowly been working its way around UFO enthusiasts and alien conspiracy forums, where the circled figure has been analyzed and some have reached the conclusion that it shows a humanoid figure, in a dress standing lookout on a rocky Martian outcropping. It's just a rock, astronomers say. The reason many people see a figure in the Martian landscape is because the mind is capable of playing tricks on people. Colorful Dunes Mars isn't really blue and gold, it's just that this picture was taken in infrared wavelengths to better show the composition of the sand dune. But these dunes, known as Barkans, would look striking in any light. They often form cool horns or notches on their steep leeward sides. Scientists say that Barkan dunes are common on both Earth and Mars. Usually these dunes are very distinctive in shape and are important because they can tell scientists about the environment in which they are formed and the direction of the winds at a particular location. Barkans form in sandy areas where winds blow in one dominant direction. This creates a crescent-shaped sand dune. The arcs of sand that define the Barkan dunes end in horns that point downwind, while sand is blown into crests and slopes. The images were taken using the red-green-blue filter on the camera, giving the sand a blue appearance. The camera operates in visible wavelengths, the same as the human eye but with a telescopic lens that makes it one of the highest resolution cameras currently in space. These high resolution images enable scientists to distinguish objects on Mars and to study the surface structure in a much more comprehensive manner than any other Mars mission. Donut Rock Crumbling canals, a mysterious sphinx, and now something that looks like a crumpled jelly donut? Mars has a way of serving up mystery objects that befuddle and delight us Earthlings. We're completely confused. We're having a wonderful time. Everyone on the team is arguing and fighting, said NASA's Opportunity Science team head discussing a picture of a donut-shaped rock that was unveiled at a 10-year anniversary celebration of the Mars rover landing. A picture of the rock has been making the rounds online and attracting a lot of media attention, inspiring headlines with words like defies explanation, most likely, the donut is a bit of a Martian crud spun off the rover's wheels. But the science team is taking a look anyway, just to double check. There are before and after pairs of images of the same patch of ground in front of NASA's Mars Exploration Rover Opportunity, 13 days apart, documenting the arrival of a bright rock onto the scene. In fact, it is a stone turned upside down. It turned upside down when the rover rode over it. It was kicked out from under the rover's wheel, so it turns out that there's nothing too special about this rock, despite looking donut-shaped. What's the next discovery on Mars going to be? It seems the more we explore the red planet, the more strange things we discover. So, like and subscribe and discover even more great videos coming right up.